Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we're going to be talking about guys that say that they shoot better with iron sights uh, versus uh, red dots, pistol optics. Okay? So uh, first let's just quickly talk about rifles. I think most people have come around to believing that ARs with, uh, with uh, red dots on them are better. Okay, The military uses them, there's a reason why they do it, they're just better. Uh, people are able to get on target faster. Uh, so that's kind of become the standard now. The, the iron sights are just backup sights. Um, the modern optics have great battery life, right? Uh, and also, we're no longer working with just a dot only, okay? So this is uh, a 2 MOA dot with a 65 MOA circle. So it's easy to find it and get on target. So uh, most people have come around to accepting, okay? ARs. Uh, first of all, ARs are the best choice for home defense. The the gun that you're going to shoot the easiest, the most accurate. You know, uh, the military uses ARs for uh, you know for CQB for clearing houses. SWAT teams do room to room clearing with ARs. So ARs are the best guns, and they typically have red dots on those guns for a reason. Okay, so that's kind of proven. Most people will go along with that and accept it, but for some reason. Uh, when we get to pistols, uh, a lot of guys are out there are going to be like, "Oh no, iron sights better for me." Okay, so we're going to be—that's what we're focusing on on this video. So my first uh, argument is, whatever made the AR rifle uh, better with a red dot on it, right? For all the same reasons that the AR with a, with a, with a red dot on it is better, uh, all those same reasons are going to apply to the pistol. Okay. Uh, everything that you can do better with a rifle with a red dot on it, you're going to be able to do better uh, with a pistol with a red dot on it, okay? Uh, now, the argument that I used to get in the past, and sometimes still do because people don't know better, but uh, is battery life, right? Batteries run out. With modern-day uh, uh, optics, first of all, they're, they're, they're fairly cheap, you know, uh, for, let's say, $300. It's solar-powered with a battery backup, Okay. Uh, so you get good battery life, they're reliable, they don't break, um, so, so that whole reliability issue goes out the window, okay, so, so let's just focus on just what's going to work, what works better, what are people able to use to get on target faster, okay, so, uh, now again, we're not working with dot only, dot only is horrible, okay, now, uh, the argument used to be that, hey, with perfect presentation, you come out a holster, you're always going to find that 2 m way dot. But that's not how life works. You know, I, I want to be able to, sh you know, shoot, you know, one-handed if I need to and be able to get on target and find that, you know, find my aiming point. So, um, th usually there's, there's two systems that I've come to, that I've come to use. Um, one is, uh, is oh, let me show you this one, the multi-reticle from Holosun. Uh, which is, there it is, okay, so it's basically, it, it's a, uh, it's a uh, 32 MOA circle with a dot, I have the dot off here, I only use the 32 MOA circle, and if you see, like, I'm getting on target there, that works just perfect, okay, so that entire, that's at 10 yards over there, we see that target, so that 32 MOA circle is the aiming point, okay, and I got the iron sights there, as you can see, as the backup, okay, now, if you notice the camera and your eye will kind of work the same way, they can only focus on one thing at a time. And we're going to kind of come back to that in a minute. Uh, the other system that I use and I really like um, is the, uh, the ACSS system, like this one over here. And this one is great because it has an outer circle that when you go to full extension, you can't see it. Let me come here, yeah. So that kind of guides you to the center. So if I go far enough out, the outer circle basically comes out of your view. So you're only using that, That I think that's a, uh, a 10 MOA dot, right? And if you're offline for whatever reason, like over there, like you, that you use the edge of that circle to get to the center. So I really like this system. So with this type of a system, again, forget about perfect presentation because life doesn't give you perfect presentation. Sometimes you may, may need to be holding some something back or holding something. I want to be able to put the gun in my left hand, all right, you know, and shoot these awkward positions like this uh, and be able to get my dot on target, okay? So that's the standard uh, that I have for optics, okay? They have, to, they have to work good enough so I can shoot them 
one-handed uh, in in awkward in awkward positions, right? Because you might be sitting down in the car seat. You know, you might need to you know reach back like this, right? So I want to be able to, to to use the gun um, regardless of what my how, how I'm gripping the gun, one-handed, two-handed, shooting unconventional. So with with modern day optics, you can do that. Okay, so so that kind of takes care of the issue of it's hard to find the dot. If you've got the right optic, you'll be able to find the dot uh, just as easily as you can find the iron sights. Okay, so now let's let's move on. So. When we're talking about pistols, right, uh, and we're talking about specifically guys that say, it could be girls too, but usually guys, guys that say that, and the reason why it's usually not women, because with women, usually I just put them on pistols with optics, and, you know, there's no argument, they all accept it, they're, you know, they're, they all accept it that it's better, uh, so, so I'm usually not trying to, trying to convince women, I'm just trying to convince some men, um, so of the crowd that says that they shoot better with iron sights, okay, 50% of that, right, 50% of those guys, um, I can take them to a range and have them shoot at 10 yards and going out to 30 yards, okay, and, and they will see by themselves that they shoot, that when they do side-by-side -side shooting iron sights and shooting a red dot, right, on a pistol, they will see that they shoot better with optics, okay? And once I, once we satisfy the other issues of battery life and being able to find the aiming point, uh, they're satisfied that they shoot better with optics and they admit that, hey, the next time that they're buying a pistol, they're going to buy one that is, uh, they're going to buy one that is optic ready, okay? So that's, so that's 50% of the people that, say that they shoot better with iron sights i can usually convince them that no that's not the case you're actually better with with uh with optics on the pistol so now i got the other 50 percent okay that says that they're better with iron sights so that kind of divides into two categories okay so of that half of that category, so now basically 25 percent of this group right of, of the total group so so 20 so we said 50 percent i can convince by actually have them shoot at 30 yards, right, at, let's say, uh, a man-sized target, right, at 30 yards. So a lot of times when people go to the gun range, they're shooting at, like, a man-sized target, but it's only, like, 5 feet, you know, 10 feet. So, yeah, I mean, you know what? I, I don't need I don't, I don't need either. I don't need, I don't need in, in neither red dots nor iron sights to hit a target at 10 feet. I can just point shoot that, uh, which is what usually happens most of the time uh, when people are shooting um, iron sights at close range they just point shoot it right they don't even try to find those iron sights because you know we're, we're going to talk about that in a minute um but so 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 50 percent of that group we said that i can convince by having them shoot at 10 at 30 yards uh at man size targets 25 percent of that group um you know what they're just really stubborn and they're not trying hard enough like i'll have them shoot at 30 yards and it's like they got like this mental block on where they're like, like I like I'll put them on a, on, a, on a pistol with an optic, and they're like, I mean they're just like they don't believe that it's possible. They don't want it to be true. They're just not trying hard enough. They're, they're giving all like I can't I can't find the the the, the, the big circle. I can't find the, the, the multi reticle to give me all this. BS. They're just not trying hard enough. Okay, so if you if you're not gonna try, it's not gonna happen. Okay. Um, and that's fine. I mean, if, they, if, if people want to shoot iron sights, I'm, I'm, that's perfectly fine. However, they enjoy shooting is fine. But we're just trying to we're just trying to uh, understand what's going on. OK, so if you want to shoot iron sights, perfectly OK. Um, but the argument that I'm making is that you will shoot better with a red dot if you try. But if if you're if you're satisfied with shooting iron sights, that's perfectly fine, too. OK, but. So 25% of the group, when I put them on the uh, on the red dot, they're just not trying hard enough, okay? And they don't want to. They're not interested, and that's fine. I'll put those to the side. They can do their own thing, okay? So then I got another 25%, right, where, uh, again, this is a group that we said that uh, uh, say that they shoot better with uh, with, with iron sights. So so I got 25% here that when I, when I uh, put them on 
on a on a on a pistol with a with an optic on it with a red dot, and they're actually trying, okay. But for whatever reason, you know what? In their case, it's true. They act they they do indeed shoot the iron sights better. So so I'm not saying it's impossible, okay. Uh, and usually it's a case that hey they've been shooting for whatever a hundred years uh, with iron sights and they're just better with it. Okay, and 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 uh, you know what? I see that they're actually trying. It's not working for them. Okay, I accept that. Okay, so that's 25 percent. But um, here's the thing to understand with that. Okay, and this is really the this is the important part of the video. This is the thing the thing I wanted to focus on. Uh, the 25 percent that actually shoot better with iron sights, okay? They're usually shooting under range conditions, okay? Where when they are shooting, okay? You know, now they're shooting, no red dot, right? No optic, they got rear sight, front sight, target, okay? They, they understand how to shoot, they focus on the front sight, right? Because when you're shooting iron sights, there's three things that you're looking at. You're looking at the target, you're shooting, you're, you're looking at the front sight and you're looking at the rear sight. Now your eye is like a camera and it can only focus on one thing at a time. So when you're shooting with iron sights, you're supposed to focus on the front sight, which means that the rear sight's gonna be blurry and the target itself has to be blurry, right? So if the target is in focus, that means that your front sight is not in focus and you're not gonna shoot your best, okay? So, these people, this 25% has, has mastered, okay, focusing on their front sight at the gun range, right, on, under, you know, comfortable conditions, um, and, and being able to hit the target at 30 yards, sometimes even at 50 yards, okay? So the point here, though, is, right, is that's on the range conditions, okay? That target is not shooting back at you. That target is not trying to kill you, okay? Now, if that target over there is actually trying to kill you, okay? The natural thing for you, okay, when you're shooting is n is gonna be to not look at the front sight. If that target over there is shooting back at you, you're gonna wanna focus on that target, not on this front sight, okay? Um, so that's the problem with getting really good with iron sights, okay? Because you can practice your whole life, you can be shooting 20 years, 50 years, 100 years, whatever, you know, however long you live, you could be shooting your whole life with iron sights and you can be the best in the world, okay? Um, but regardless how good you're at it, okay, if that target starts shooting back at you, uh, you're not necessarily going to focus on that front sight. And what's going to happen is for the first time in your life when you're shooting, you're going to be doing something different. You're going to be focusing on the target, okay? Uh, now, the difference here is with the... With the optic, right, there's a single point of aim, okay? With, the, with, with an optic, you just look at the target. So the target and the dot over there are basically on the same plane. So you focus on the target. Uh, if you notice, like, the rear sight is out of focus, okay, but we don't care about that. The front sight's out of focus, right? So the iron sights are out of focus, but the dot and the target, which is the thing that we're trying to hit, are both in focus, right? So that's why iron sights are superior, right? Because your eye only needs to look at the target and focus on the target and hit the target, okay? Uh, you don't, versus if you're shooting iron sights, okay? You're looking at the target over there that's trying to kill you, right? And now you gotta basically shift your focus from the target back to your iron sights, back to your front sight specifically. The body doesn't work that way, okay? If, if you are scared, you're going to look at that target over there. Um, and the, the proof in this, right, this is actually another way that this has been proven is that with people that close, let, that are, let's say, left eye dominant, but uh, basically shoot right-handed. So let's say if I was left eye dominant, um, but I shoot in my right hand because I learned to write in my right hand. Because writing is a learned thing. Okay? Do eye dominance, that is a... Uh, uh, you know, that's a natural thing. So let's say I'm left eye dominant, but uh, because I'm stubborn, I want to shoot in my right hand, okay? So what I'll do is, let's say I close my left eye, right, to force my dominance to my right side, okay? So I can do that at the range, okay? But 
again, what happens is if that target over there is trying to kill me, okay, if I'm really scared, your body is not going to allow you to close one eye, right? Because if your body's scared, you, your body wants to see as much as possible, right? It, you're going to be like an owl. If somebody's shooting at you, your eyes are going to open up this wide. Your body is not going to allow you to close one eye because that's what you've been practicing for 100 years every day at the gun range, okay? You know, so just because you practice it that way under calm conditions doesn't mean that you're going to actually do it all right, um, when you're scared. And this is one of the things that has been found in combat conditions, right? And, you know, I've learned it from people that have been in combat conditions. If you practice shooting with one eye closed, when you're really scared, all of a sudden now you've got both eyes open and you're having a real time finding your dot or your iron sights or whatever you're shooting because you've been practicing this whole time to shoot with one eye closed. And now that you're scared, your body is not letting you close one eye. So for the first time in your life, you're trying to shoot with both eyes open. It doesn't work that way, okay? Um, now, it might work for a few people out there, okay? Uh, but the point is that until you, you're actually in that situation where you're being shot at, um, you're, you're, you, you don't know what your body's going to do, okay? Uh, the normal, from, what I, from what I've heard from people that have been in combat conditions, uh, the natural thing for your body to do when you're being shot at is both eyes are wide open, okay? Um, and you're going to focus on whatever's shooting at you, okay? Those are the two things that I have, he I have heard repeatedly from people that have been uh, in combat conditions, okay? Now, uh, now in a combat condition, right, and this, again, this is information that I've received from people that have been in combat, um, what will typically happen, because, because a lot of times, especially guys that were in the military back in the, in the 80s I've talked to, they didn't focus a whole lot on eye dominance. They didn't focus so much on keep shooting with both eyes open. You know, basically all you had to do was qualify. If you qualified, however you qualified, you were good. Right? So, so you had people shoot when I closed. Um, how did they survive? Okay, so what happens, what the information I've received, okay, uh, is that in a combat condition you are part of a unit okay so what happens is you're like in this wedge formation right you got one guy front one guy back one guy front one guy back uh and usually and typically what will happen is when one person starts taking fire okay uh they're just basically looking to take cover okay uh that, that's their first thing their first their what they've been trained to do is take cover okay uh and then at the opportune moment start returning fire so their first thing is to take cover while they are taking cover the the other teammates who are not under fire are able to return fire right so the other people of the unit who are not under direct fire uh, are able to you know calm you know well not calmly but they're, they're able to because they're not being shot at you know they're able to do whatever it is they do as far as if they close one eye when they're shooting uh, if they, you know, using iron sights, whatever. So, so in a combat situation where you're part of a unit, all right, um, you know, you're, you know, you, you also have the benefit of the rest of the unit to help you out. Uh, in a situation, in a self-defense situation, right, where you are on your own, okay, you're on your own, okay. You gotta, you gotta be able to do everything on your own, okay. So, if you are taking fire, okay, um, you know, you don't have the benefit you know you may not have the benefit of just taking cover and you know you know and, and hunkering down you might be able to but you may not be able to, to it depends on what the situation is um you may need to return fire okay uh and in that situation where you're being shot at uh what's going to happen again this is from information i've received from people in combat conditions in that type of a situation okay uh you're going to be shooting with both eyes open regardless of whether you practice it or not Okay? And you're going to be focusing on the target regardless of what you what, of, of, of how you practiced. Okay? Those are the two things you're going to do. Both eyes open, you're going to be focusing on the target. You're not going to be focusing so much on your iron sights because that's just not a natural thing. A natural thing is to look at the thing that's scaring you. Okay? So that is the reason why I will tell people that, you know what, even if you're part of that 25% that's been shooting for 100 years every day of your life with iron sights, and that's what you're best at, right? You've been doing it under range conditions, right? Um, if, you know, if you find yourself in a situation where you're being shot at, 
um, you know, that's not a range condition. You're basically, it's almost like you're shooting a gun for the first time, okay? Uh, you're going to shoot with both eyes open, uh, and you're going to focus on the target. So you better stop, you know, my suggestion is start practicing to do that. Both eyes open, focusing on the target, and what's going to allow you to do that best? An optic, okay? So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, you know, give me some feedback. If you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine. We can still be friends. So drop some comments below and we'll talk soon.